time to talk about gas density. The ideal gas equation can be used to define the relationship between the density of a gas and its molar mass, and then calculate the volumes of gases either formed or consumed in the process. To calculate density, values for molar mass, pressure, and temperature, in Kelvin of course, must be given. Remember, the formula for density is density is equal to mass over volume. Now remember, when you do your units for this, mass is going to be represented as grams, and volume can be represented in one of two ways. If we're dealing with a liquid, we'll label it as milliliters, or if we're dealing with a solid, we will do grams over centimeters cubed, because remember, one milliliter is equivalent to one centimeter cubed. Remember the formula for molar mass is equal to mass over one mole. And remember the mass is just your gram formula mass, which we've talked about a lot in the past. The ideal gas law equation can be rearranged to obtain similar units as the density equation. So what do we mean here? Well, let's recall the formula for the ideal gas law. PV equals nRT. I want to get to this situation right here, which in other words, we're going to have moles of gas over volume, and then we'll proceed on to density. To rearrange this equation to look like this equation, the first thing that we need to do is to divide this side by RT. So I'm going to divide both sides by RT, and I will end up having N equals PV over RT. Then what I can do is multiply both sides of this equation by 1 over V, multiply this side of the equation by 1 over V, and if I do that, ultimately, again, what will happen is that my V's will cancel V's, and I will end up with this equation right here. So as we look at this equation, we have moles of gas over volume is equal to pressure over RT. In order to get this to look like density, which we know is mass over volume, we're going to multiply both sides here by molar mass. And remember, molar mass is grams over moles. So what does this look like? If I take this section right here and I label my units, basically what I'll have is grams over moles times moles because this N here represents moles over volume. If I cancel out my moles here, moles cancel moles, I will ultimately end up with grams over volume, which we know equals density. So basically what I'm trying to do here is show you how this gas density evolves from the ideal gas law equation to right here, and then multiplying both sides by the molar mass to ultimately get us to the whole equation equaling density. Let's look at a couple of examples. Density equals molar mass times pressure divided by the gas constant times temperature. Calculate the density of nitrogen dioxide gas at 0 .70 atmospheres and 35 degrees Celsius. One of the first things that we need to do is find the gram formula mass, the GFM, of nitrogen dioxide. So if I do that, I know that nitrogen is equal to 1 times 14. That's going to give me 14. Oxygen, there's two oxygens here, times 16. That's going to give me 32. And if I add these two together, I will get 46 grams per one mole. And I need to keep that in mind as I plug it into this formula. So I'm going to write the formula next. Density is equal to molar mass times pressure divided by the gas constant times temperature. So I just found the molar mass, so that's going to be 46 grams per mole. I'm going to multiply that times my pressure, which is 0 .970 atmospheres. I'm going to divide that by 0 .0821 liters atmospheres over moles Kelvin 
times the temperature. And our temperature that is listed here is 35 degrees Celsius. So if I turn that into Kelvin, we know that is going to be 308 Kelvin. Now we need to go through here and make sure that all of our units cancel. Kelvin cancels Kelvin. Both of these moles are on the bottom. So moles cancel moles, atmospheres cancel atmospheres, and we're left with grams per liter. So if we work this out in our density formula, density will equal 1.76 grams per liter. Let's look at another example. Calculate the density of sulfur hexafluoride gas with a pressure of 678 torr and 28 degrees Celsius. So the first thing that I need to do is make sure that I know the formula for sulfur hexafluoride. Sulfur hexafluoride is SF6, and if I work that out, I find that the gram formula mass is 146 grams per one mole. I need to take my 28 degrees Celsius and convert that into Kelvin. So 28 degrees Celsius plus 273 will give me 301 Kelvin. And then in this case, because I'm working with Tor, I need to make sure that I use the right gas constant. So R is going to equal 62.36 liters times Tor over moles Kelvin. Now let's write our density formula. Density is equal to the molar mass times pressure divided by the correct gas constant times temperature. So the molar mass here that we found for sulfur hexafluoride is going to be 146 grams per mole times the pressure, which is 678 torr, divided by the gas constant. And again, we want to make sure that we use the gas constant with torr. So that is going to be 62.36 liters times torr divided by moles Kelvin. And then finally, our temperature in Kelvin, which is going to be 301K. We want to go through and make sure that our units cancel. So Tor cancels Tor, Mole cancels Mole, Kelvin cancels Kelvin, and we are left with grams over liters. So if we work this out for this particular problem, we find that density is equal to 5.27 grams per liter. And that is our final answer for this to the correct number of significant figures. And these are two brief examples of how to find gas density.